Hi, my name is Chris, and I'd like to share a little bit about my story. Um, perhaps it helps somebody find uh, God. Um, I've been coming to Center Point for about a year now. Um, my story, let's back up to the very beginning, uh, which is I grew up Mormon. I was a Mormon missionary. I was the person who knocked on your door with that white shirt and a little plaque uh, uh, name tag. Uh, my mission, I served in Honduras, and it was, uh, I grew up, had a Mormon family, and uh, was very active in the Mormon church. But when I was about 35, uh, I started doing an intensive study of um, the history of my church and the doctrines. And it was through that study I realized that I had been duped by Mormonism. and. When that happened, I, uh, I lost everything that, that was important to me. Um, I lost my family, my friends, uh, my entire social network. Uh, I became an atheist as a result of giving up God, and I've lived most of my adult life as an atheist. It was easy to let go of God. And uh, eventually I married a believer, uh, my wife now, Jenny, and she, despite my questions and all my effort to get her to not believe in God, she remained faithful. And it wasn't until recently, after 20 years of living as an atheist, that I began to uh, seek God again, because uh, living as an atheist, it left me very empty inside if I want to be truthful and admit that. Um, there was no hope of anything. And so religion didn't provide it for me. Atheism didn't provide it for me. And uh, so I was left without any direction really for my life. It wasn't until I began to visit Centerpoint, like I said, about a year ago, and I joined a few men's group. Though my motive to join the groups uh, were to ask so many questions and, and with the idea that nobody would be able to answer them. And then I would be able to point to the fact that God did not exist. And it was going to be a confirmation to me that he did not exist. And, but God works miracles and in his miraculous way on his timing and in his method, uh, it was about three months ago that God revealed himself to me in a way that I could no longer deny him. And it was that personal revelation that he gave to me that gave me the foundation I was looking for. When I became a seeker a year ago, I was asked, why are you coming to all these meetings? Why do you come to all these men's group at Center Point? Why, why are you doing this? And I was looking for a foundation to put my feet on. So when those rains come and the wind blows and they continue to come, I had something strong I could stand on. And through that revelation that God gave me three months ago, I found that. What is that revelation? What is it? Well, it's very simple. It's that God loved me and loves me now and that he's asked us to love others. And so my story is a love story. It's a love story where um, God loved me first and I just didn't know it. And it took the love of others to come around me and show me that love so I could feel the love of God. And that's my testimony. And that's what I wanna to share today with you. And maybe there's just one person here that doesn't feel that love of God. And uh, I testify to you that God is real and that he does love you. That's it.